Hey everybody, it's Bruce St. James. You're here on KTAR.com. I've got another movie review for you. This one's called Real Steel. It stars Hugh Jackman. You know who he is, right? And a bunch of other people who you don't know. That's not the problem, though. Don't worry. The movie is like, uh, it's a boxing movie about robot boxing. Stay with me. Stay with me. The robots look like Rock'em Sock'em robots. How many of you remember the Rock'em Sock'em? This is an animatronic version of Rock'em Sock'em robots. We're in a, a futuristic world, not too far in the future of where we are today in this movie. And instead of humans boxing, the robots duke it out with humans working the remote control, okay? This movie is, and I'm trying to be kind, predictable and cheesy, but as far as predictable and cheesy goes, it's pretty good version of predictable and cheesy. I think it, I looked at my my phone six or seven minutes into it, I'd figured the whole darn thing out. For some people, that's a good thing. They're comfortable with it. You've seen this movie before. It's the underdog. Will the father and the son figure it out? Can the little little robot that could finally make it over the top? I don't think it's a spoiler alert to tell you this movie ends exactly the way you think it's going to end. It reminded me of this. I'm, I, the whole time I'm watching the movie, I'm thinking, what am I seeing here? There's a little bit of Rocky in it with a touch of Fight Club. I'm gonna tell you, some Fight Club in there. Add in Transformers and then just wrap it up in one big bow with the little engine that could. That is real steel. I, I struggle with what to say. To, I, I'll tell you what, you will, you will love the special effects in this movie. I swear to you, I swear to you, you'll believe that robots are amongst us and can box. That no time do you get any sense of the technology that went into it, uh, computers and, and animatronics. It looks real. The boxing sequences are amazing when it comes to robots beating the snot out of one another, all right? All in all though, it's cheesy, it's predictable, but I'm gonna give it a three. On a one to five, I'll give it a three. It's Real Steel starring Hugh Jackman. I'm Bruce St. James here on KTAR.com.